Radical theory is an obsolete scientific theory in chemistry describing the structure of organic compounds. The theory was pioneered by Justus von Liebig, Friedrich Wöhler and Auguste Laurent around 1830 and is not related to the modern understanding of free radicals. In this theory, organic compounds were thought to exist as combinations of radicals that could be exchanged in chemical reactions just as chemical elements could be interchanged in inorganic compounds. Preamble The term radical was already in use when radical theory was developed. Louis Bernard Guyton de Morveau introduced the phrase, "...radical", in 1785 and the phrase was employed by Antoine Lavoisier in 1789 in his Traite élémentaire de chimie. A radical was identified as the root base of certain acids the Latin word, "...radix", meaning, "...root". The combination of a radical with oxygen would result in an acid. For example the radical of acetic acid was called, acetic", and that of muriatic acid, hydrochloric acid was called «muriatic». Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac found evidence for the cyanide radical in 1815 in his work on hydrogen cyanide and a number of cyanide salts he discovered. He also isolated cyanogen CN2, not realizing that cyanogen is the cyanide dimer NCCN. Jean-Baptiste Duma proposed the ethylene radical from investigations into diethyl ether and ethanol. In his etherin theory he observed that ether consisted of two equivalents of ethylene and one equivalent of water and that ethylene and ethanol could interconvert in chemical reactions. Ethylene was also the base fragment for a number of other compounds such as ethyl acetate. This etherin theory was eventually abandoned by Duma in favor of radical theory. As a radical it should react with an oxide to form the hydrate but it was found that ethylene is resistant to an oxide like calcium oxide. Henry Victor Regnault in 1834 reacted ethylene dichloride CH2CH2, Cl2 with co-forming vinyl chloride, water, and KCl. In etherine theory it should not be possible to break up the ethylene fragment in this way. Radical theory replaced electrochemical dualism which stated that all molecules were to be considered as salts composed of basic and acidic oxides. Theory Liebig and Verla observed in 1832 in an investigation of benzoin resin benzoic acid that the compounds almond oil benzaldehyde, benzo stuff, Benzyl alcohol, benzoyl chloride and benzamide all share a common C7H5O fragment and that these compounds could all be synthesized from almond oil by simple substitutions. The C7H5O fragment was considered a «radical of benzoic acid» and called benzoyl. Organic radicals were thus placed on the same level as the inorganic elements. Just like the inorganic elements simple radicals the organic radicals compound radicals were indivisible. The theory was developed thanks to improvements in elemental analysis by von Liebig. Laurent contributed to the theory by reporting the isolation of benzoyl itself in 1835, however the isolated chemical is today recognized at its dimer dibenzoyl. Raffaele Piria reported the salicyl radical as the base for salicylic acid. Liebig published a definition of a radical in 1838. Berzelius and Robert Bunsen investigated the radical cacodyl reaction of cacodyl chloride with zinc around 1841, now also known as a dimer species CH3 2 as as CH3 2. Edward Franklin and Hermann Kolbe contributed to the radical theory by investigating the ethyl and the methyl radicals. Franklin first reported diethyl zinc in 1848. Franklin and Kolbe together investigated the reaction of ethyl cyanide and zinc in 1849, reporting the isolation of not the ethyl radical but the methyl radical CH3, which in fact was ethane. Kolbe also investigated the electrolysis of potassium salts of some fatty acids. 
Acetic acid was regarded as the combination of the methyl radical and oxalic acid and electrolysis of the salt yielded as gas again ethane misidentified as the liberated methyl radical. In 1850 Franklin investigated ethyl radicals. In the course of this work butane formed by reaction of ethyl iodide and zinc was mistakenly identified as the ethyl radical. Demise August Wilhelm von Hoffmann, Auguste Laurent and Charles Frédéric Gerhardt challenged Franklin and Kolber by suggesting that the ethyl radical was in fact a dimer called dimethyl. Franklin and Kolber countered that ethyl hydride was also a possibility and in 1864 Karl Schorlemmer proved that dimethyl and ethyl hydride were in fact one and the same compound. Radical theory was eventually replaced by a number of theories each advocating specific entities. One adaptation of radical theory was called theory of types theory of residues, advocated by Charles Adolf Wirtz, August Wilhelm von Hoffmann and Charles Frederick Gerhardt. Another was water type as promoted by Alexander William Williamson. Jean-Baptiste Duma and Auguste Laurent an early supporter of radical theory challenged radical theory in 1840 with a law of substitution or theory of substitution. This law acknowledged that any hydrogen atom even as part of a radical could be substituted by a halogen. Eventually Franklin in 1852 and August Kekul in 1857 introduced valence theory with as central theme the tetravalency of carbon, making trivalent carbon obsolete for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy In 1900 Moses Gomberg unexpectedly discovered true trivalent carbon and the first radical in the modern sense of the word in his unsuccessful attempt to make hexaphenylethane. In current organic chemistry concepts such as benzoyl and acetyl persist in chemical nomenclature but only to identify a functional group having the same fragment. 